Okay, and first of all, let's call the row. Today is the. I have this day in the other computer. The 28th of the 5th is in the other computer. I need to change it. Now this is 5th of June. Do we have Veronica? Vero? No. Do we have Genesis? Genesis? I get the detail. Oh, nice. Good microphone. Do we have Catalina Ardiles? Presente, profe. Cool. Do we have Fernando Astorga? Presente, profe. Yes. Do we have... <laughs> Come on, there is a chat now. You can use the chat. Chat is open. You can write to me there. If you if you hear. Uh, Miss Francisca Astudillo? Presente, profe. Thanks. And then Cata Barraza? Presente. Hmm. Marty? Oh, Marty. Uh, Vicente Castillo? <laughs> no way, still a mystery. Ah, uh, Vicente. Vicente Olguín. Vicente. Vicente Olguín, no más está. Vicente Olguín. No, it's not here. Ah, uh, Luciano Castillo. No, uh, Gonzalo. No, Laura. No, Tamara. Aquí estoy. Yes. Krishna. No. Max. Felipe Suárez, te voy a mutear. Thank you. Uh, Max. Max. Rodrigo Cuello. No. Joseph Lewis. Bueno. Uh, I have Cata Fernández. Presente, teacher. Yeah. Edward. Nicolás Samuel. Nope. Chio. Presente. Yep. Benjamin Gonzalez. Aquí estoy. Yeah. Uh, Fernanda. Don't think so. Tony. Tonicha. Presente. Yes. David. David. No. Ah, verdad. Presente. Uh, Vicente Magma. No. Francisca Mardones. Presente. Yes. Uh, Lucas Morgado. Brian. Oye, no. Presente. Mr. Brian. Uh, Vicente Olguín. Okay. Uh, Fernando Parra. Yes. Yep. DJ. DJ. DJ Tabo, no no escriba, ya. Eh, Mati. Mati. Isabela. Oh, really? Sorry, I fell down. Internet crashed. Yeah, yeah, sorry, DJ. Can you hear me now? Sí, ahora sí. Okay, thanks. Yeah, yeah, internet blew up. Okay, thank you, DJ. Uh, Mati, Mati? Presente. Oh, yeah, thank you. Sorry, sorry, man. Uh, Tomoyo? Presente. Thanks. Uh, 
Mr. Felipe Suarez. Felipe, <laughs> you have the chat, man. Okay, uh, Damarindo. <laughs> You're funny. Okay, Martin Towers. Present. Yeah, the master. The legend, Matuta. Hola, profe. Tuta, how are you, Tuta? Bien, ¿y usted? Yeah, I'm doing well. How's the family? Are they good? Sí, todo bien. How's your little, your little tuta? Bien. <laughs> <laughs> good, nice. Palita, she's here, president of Chile. Montserrat. Presente. Oh, Montserrat, very good. And Sofifa. Aquí. Sofita, ¿cuál es tu segundo nombre? Cecilia. Ah, ¿verdad? Ah, bueno, tú puse so Sofita. <risa> Sofili, Sofí, Sofita, Cecilia. ¿Le digo mi otro apellido también? Cortés, sí, pues sí. Dale, Ramírez. Sí. Ahí está. Perfecto. Ok, ok. So, we, did, we don't have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15. That's a lot, 26 people today. Yeah, all right, we're ready. Uh, let me save this up. Okay, we're not gonna check the complete homework because it would be too long. We're just gonna talk about some of them. Um, let's get the homework from Valoria, um, okay. Dude, my internet's not working well. Real hard. Do, 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 do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very nice, boy. Okay, so I'm going to contrast with Eduardo. So A was about causatives and passive causatives. In the end, both had the idea of having another person do something for us. The difference was the focus. The active, fo uh, the active, Causative focuses on the subject or the agent, who does it, and the passive causative focuses on the object only. So, the activity number one from the causative and normal uh, was quite simple. The only thing we have to do was to use on the verbs in brackets and just be careful. Oh, Nicolás Gallardo is here. And just be careful with the verbs that you have. The verbs in red take two. Uh, see, los con rojo llevan two. Es la única diferencia. To help to get to fall down to eat to stop. And this is the active causative and just repeating something that we have a subject, then we have a verb, then we have an agent. El que hace la acción por mí, the agent. And then I have a verb. Okay, so that's the causative. I'm having, I'm forcing the thief to get into the police car. So that is the active when this subject is forcing or is doing something for this one. Okay. Uh, this is the active causative. So that was the idea of this activity. Uh, the others are just like that. His piano teacher makes him practice. And that's it. You have to just put the verb with no change and nothing really difficult. So le hizo complicada actividad, niño.
to give. Parece que me mutea. Me auto mutea. No, no estoy muteado. Um, eh, aquí por lo menos algunas en algunas partes sí se me hizo complicado. Thank you, Eduardo. En esta de la 1, ¿no, Eduardo? Sí, Martín. O sea, Martín, la que ve, Eduardo. Sí, Martín, en, en esta, la actividad 1, en la 1. Um, no, en esa no. En la que viene um, abajo, ¿no? Sí, esa en algunas estuvo complicado. Ah, ya, ya, sí, porque reescribir a veces es complicado. Me voy a partir, voy a hacer, vamos a hacer esta nomás. De la 10 para abajo. De la 10 para arriba. Ahí. Bueno, lo único que había que fijarse era el verbo. Eh, ¿Qué verbo están ocupando? Y después ver por cuál lo puedes cambiar. Que signifique lo mismo. Entonces aquí tengo los verbos. Y lo único que quieren ellos es que tú lo reescribas. Entonces, si parto de acá, the earthquake force to rescue volunteers to work day and night. Eh, equivalente de force era en el activo. Make. Make. Aquí están pasando. Made the. No, no al. Ah, sí, pues sí, sí, sí. Estamos en el activo. The rescue volunteers to work. To work day and night. Eso es lo único que había que hacer. Eh, buscar el verbo que es igual. En este caso, force y make son igual. Están pasados porque esto está pasado. ¿Y esto de dónde lo saqué? Porque sé que make es igual a force. Porque aquí arriba sale también. Aquí dice que make es igual a force. Have es igual a get. Y let es igual a loud. También sale cause. Cause es parecido a make también. De ahí lo saqué. Entonces, vuelvo a ver. Thank you, Valoria. And then, I have the verb cause. Hizo que hicieron. Entonces, es lo mismo. The make this flood has made, en vez de cause, pongo made people to evacuate. To higher ground. Así diría. And then, did you, boyfriend, did you get a boyfriend from your call? Ya, yeah, entonces, get, yo sé que get lo puedo cambiar por cuál. Por have. Por have, es lo mismo. Nomás que el get lleva un to. Get to. Sería. Si quieres, get. yo no te voy a hacerlo. Sí, tranquilo. Aquí vamos a ir viendo. Las preguntas, sí, yo diría que son un poco más difíciles porque no estamos acostumbrados pero podría ser así did you have your boyfriend call you did you have your for your boyfriend call you hiciste que hiciste que te llamara tu bololo si ustedes lo ven de un punto de vista práctico eh, Suena algo, suena algo extraño que, que alguien pregunte. Did you have your, phone, your boyfriend call you? Si te que te llamara, suena raro. En vez de eso, deberíamos preguntar solo te llamó. Así de simple. Sin causativo ni nada. Por lo tanto, no es un buen ejemplo. Yo diría que no, no, no es bacán. Para los que están arriba, sí. Um, next one says allow. Yo sé que allow. Uh, verb, synonym. Mismo que allow. Let. 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 El manager eh, está en futuro, entonces lo pongo otra vez. One let. Eh, no lleva to. Entonces, one let us bring our dog to the hotel. El hotel no, el manager no nos dejará entrar al perro. Está bien. ¿Ya? La única diferencia, allow, lleva al to ahí metido. Y el let, que es su sinónimo, no lleva. Lleva automáticamente el objeto. Lo mismo el made. No lleva to, pero lleva el objeto activo. Yeah. Um, 
Este es igual. Yo creo que la más difícil es la última. Does your boss allow you to take long? Ya, yeah, entonces no. Allow is let. Entonces cambiarlo por eso. Solamente. Does your. ¿Cómo que sigue después? Does your boss. Does your boss. Martín. ¿Cómo lo pusiste? Let you. Does your boss let, let you take long lunch breaks? Does your boss let you? Entonces hay que ir cambiándolo. Es solo eso. Al menos con el activo. Mm. Aquí, aquí. Ahí está. Los otros funcionan de la misma forma. En el caso del cost que se repite, en el caso del get que se repite, en el caso del allow y en el caso del force que lo vimos en el 4, igual son lo mismo. Tengo que ir sacando el verbo. Donde sí cambia un poco es en el passive. En in the passive. Mira aquí, master of error. Yeah. Okay. In the case of the. No, come on, close state. No. Oh, God. Sorry, guys. Okay. Google Jamboard. What is that? Google Jamboard. Interesting. Now let's go. Sorry, I closed it. Uh, it's not that many quiz. It's the um. Okay. I received some questions from the students about the passive causative because they couldn't get the idea and it's all about it's all about the how do you put the object okay so for example here we mentioned it uh, we did kind of this the other class is our friends uh, tomorrow that's a future and the instruction says use get ocupa el get no ocupa el get our friends will get the dinner party catered we as simple we got our gutters cleaned whenever we had an office party this is whenever siempre we get the mess cleaned up when did you last as simple get your hair cut tal dit no lo puedo cambiar ¿Qué, en qué tiempo está el 3 en 3 es presente eh, porque es whenever y whenever es cada vez que pasa cada vez que hacen una fiesta quiere decir que es como casi una rutina eh, los voluntarios limpian el como el desorden entonces el whenever ya te da así como lo, todos los fin de mes, no sé, todos los... ¿Me entiendes? ¿Valoria? Sí, sí. Ya, yeah. entonces por eso es solo get o solo have, sin nada. Aquí igual es solo get o solo have porque está el did en pregunta, entonces te obliga a ponerlo normal. Aquí someone tomorrow. Tomorrow I will, o I will get, o I will have my system rebooted. Every week es lo mismo que el whenever. Entonces sería we get or we have our garbage picked up. Every week es todos los días. Entonces presente. We after right after dropped it. Ya yeah, entonces se le están pasado. So he got his cracked cell phone screen replaced right after he dropped it or he had the yeah, replaced con el 
The manager, new employers now, esto es ahora, continuo, presente continuo. So the HR manager is getting forms filled out or is having forms filled out by the employers now. El now implica continuo, presente. I prefer getting my taxes prepared. Uh, I prefer having my taxes prepared. And she likes getting her nails done. Or she likes having her nails done. Es lo mismo que expliqué la otra vez. Eh, van con ING porque son verbos de preferencia. And like, and love, and hate, and enjoy, prefer, can stand. Luego que vienen, luego que son conjugados, viene el siguiente verbo con ING. Por eso puse getting o puse having. Y ahora, ¿cuál es la diferencia entre el activo y el pasivo? Eh, que, a pesar de que ocupamos los verbos normales, get o um, aquí no ocupamos make, ni force, ni otras cosas, solo have y get. En cambio, de tener una persona aquí, que usualmente debiese ser, si es activo, ponemos el objeto, en este caso es la basura. ¿Ya? Entonces, por eso, cambio el foco de quién saca la basura, para que ya no nos dicen quién, a que la basura es más importante, que la basura la sacan todos los días. Esa es la única diferencia, es el foco, como siempre ocurre en lo activo y el pasivo. Igual soy saco para... We get our garbage picked up. Es el objeto. Aquí es cell phone, chrome, cell phone screen, forms, taxes, nails. Okay, that's the object. Should be, should be after the verb. Y aquí sí le he presentado un desafío a algunos. Acá. Le costó esta parte. Mm, yeah, so much. Uh, yeah. I, I never send you for this part because I I didn't know how how okay. make this part of the homework. Mm -hmm. Okay, no worries. Don't worry. Don't don't you worry. We're gonna check in now. So what's the idea? We have to identify the object and then put it in the middle. So the object will have the jury deliver the verdict. The object is what will they deliver? The verdict. So the verdict is the object. Este es el objeto. Teniendo eso puedo hacerlo. Empiezo. The judge will have ya respecto a la estructura que está puesta, will have, después corresponde poner el objeto. The verdict, y el verbo es deliver. Como me pide en el pipí y no tiene. Ahí está, ahí está listo. Ready. Ya, ¿Alguien no entendió por qué hicimos esto? Ayuda, ¿no? Ya. Yeah. Teacher? Yes. Uh, in, uh, in the first, you could put uh, the final uh, by the jury. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could put that if you want. Como el, quien lo hace no es relevante, puede sacarlo o no. Like the other passive. Yeah, like the other passive. Unless it's someone important, but in this case it's the jury. So it's not relevant. We can have the jury, I mean the judge will have the very delivered. And that would be okay. Uh, but yeah, mister, it would be okay if you leave it. So we have, my parents have, are having landscape cut down many trees. What they're cutting down? Many trees. Many trees is the object. So it should be my parents. Are having, y ahora va el objeto, ya, después del, después del have or get. Many trees. Me pide el verbo que es cut, 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 cut. Cut down. Ready. My parents are having many trees cut down. Um, by the landscapers, yes, it's okay. It works. Once a year, I have it. 
I have a bad exam in my dog. I have a bad exam in my dog. This is active. Esto está en activo. Todo esto lo que está arriba es en activo porque nos dice quién lo está haciendo. And my parents are having the landscapers. Ahí está la gente. The jury will have the jury. No, the judge will have the jury. Ahí quién lo está haciendo. Aquí igual. A vet. Esos son activos. Porque sabemos quién lo hace. Ahora no nos interesa quién lo hace, sino qué está haciendo. No sé, sería once a year. I have my dog examined. Ahí está listo. And then she had someone at Apple's office computer. Object, her computer. So she had someone. Eh, puedo poner Apple Store si quieren, o si quieren no pongo someone. Porque no nos interesa quién lo hizo. She had her computer fixed at Apple Store. Eso es más importante. El someone da lo mismo. No, no, no interesa. Ese es quien lo hace. Entonces, chao. No, 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 no. No nos llama la atención. Next one says, we will have photographer put all the shoots on a disc. Aquí va a poner all the shoots on a disc. All the shots on a disc. Todas las fotos. So, it should be, we will have uh, all the shots on a disc put. No, we will have all the shoots put, put on a disc. Ahí está. Eh, me doy lógico recién. Van, vamos a hacer que pongan todas las fotos en un disco. Teacher. Ajá. Entonces, ¿la primera parte nunca cambia? No, en este caso no. No te, no te piden eso. Lo que, está, lo que va a ir cambiando es eh, el lugar del objeto. El lugar del objeto y, y el verbo, porque el pasivo te pide un verbo en pipí. Es solo eso. Sac sacando, bueno, sacando el, sacando quién lo hace, el agente, y poniendo al objeto como lo importante. She had someone, she had her computer, ¿cachai? Repasando el objeto por el agente y poniendo el verbo como lo que lo que le pasa al objeto. Eso es lo que se va haciendo en lo activo, a lo pasivo. ¿Me sigue okay. Martín o no? Sí. Entonces siempre va después del had. O sí. de, dependiendo de si will have o having. Uh -huh. se, aplica los para los, se aplica para los dos. En el activo, lo que va después del have o el make o el get es el agente. ¿Quién hace lo que es servicio? ¿Quién te da el servicio? ¿O quién te mandó a hacer algo? En el pasivo, lo que va después del have o el get es el objeto. Y el agente chao, no nos interesa. Uh, ready? Yes. Yes. ¿Captaron más o menos los demás? Sí. Necesitan necesita, sí, necesita que hagan. Ah, identificar en qué tiempos están, porque son muchos. Es cierto. Eh, ¿Necesitan que hagamos los demás o pasamos los otros? Hagámosle otro. Oye, aquí hoy estoy muy disléxico, puse Apple, Apple Store. Yeah. Eh, put on a disc. Ahí está, ahí está, ya. Ay, no, déjame. Ya voy a tener que borrar esta. Ya, ahí y abajo. Eh, shoes. Ya, yeah, six. Eh, aquí dice, you are, you had a cleaning service, clean your house, ya. Yeah. ¿Qué limpiaron? Your house. Entonces es el objeto. Voy. You had your house. Mi verbo es clean, regular verb. You had your house clean. No es your house primero, ¿cierto? ¿Cómo para mí? Que no es your house primero, que era el, el, ¿cómo era? ¿La gente? No, no sé. 
¿Dónde pondrías tú Your House? Es que me enredé porque creí que era primero eso. ¿Cuál eso? ¿Cuál es, cuál es eso? Ah, pero está en pregunta. Eh, no, no necesariamente pregunta. Esto es, se llama un question tags. Los question tags son un tipo de, de, podríamos decir, buscan confirmar información. Son una pequeña pestañita que se pone al final, así como o no, sí. ¿verdad? Entonces aquí lo que están haciendo, la oración está tal cual y esto van preguntas así, lo último. Pero claro, eh, lo que decía el Eduardo y lo que le decía el Martín era que you had, ahí está muy igual, después del have o después del get va el objeto. Que en este ah, caso lo que es, se cambia de orden es solamente el, el verbo y, la, y el objeto. Yes, yes. Eso es lo, ah, más, yeah. lo único que se hace. Yes. He had his friends move furniture. Ya, entonces tenemos que, hizo que sus amigos me ayudaran a cambiar los muebles. Entonces eso es activo, porque sabemos que él lo hizo. Hizo que los amigos lo hicieran. Entonces, me interesa ahora, al ser pasivo, lo quiero transformar a pasivo, quiero destacar que, eh, que él hizo cambiar los muebles. No importa por qué. Entonces, mira, he had... His furniture. His furniture. His furniture. Y el verbo es move y lo paso a pipí y no tiene move. Listo, ahí está. No lo pongo, no pongo nada más. Puedo poner by his friends, ya, si usted quiere, pero no, no es relevante. Lo que sí sería relevante es que pusiesen algo como adicional, así como... Eh, ah, no me deje escribir por qué. Así como last weekend, no sé, po, o yesterday. Ese tipo de cosas hay que ponerlo, ¿sí? pero la gente no, no da lo mismo. Uh, you said you had your coworker complete the project. Well, complete the project. The project is the object. You said, you said you had the project. The project. El verbo complete. Completed. Completed. Listo. Ready. And I had dental hygienist, hygienist clean my teeth. Ya, entonces sería, I had. My teeth. My teeth. Cleaned. Cleaned. Ahí está, listo. Y last one. They had the lawyer serve papers to the company they're suing. Ya estará muy enredada. Mucho detalle. So it's, they had. What is the object? ¿Qué entregaron? ¿Qué entregaron los... Eh, ah, los papers? papers. En este caso, papers son los documentos. ¿no? Ah, papers. They had papers. Siempre el, el objeto es que... ¿no? En este caso... Aquí... Eh, ¿qué, ¿Qué movieron? ¿no? Eh, los muebles. Eh, ¿Qué completó el proyecto? Ahí igual, ¿Qué entregaron? ¿O qué, serve es cuando entregan papeles eh, judiciales. Es un verbo que en realidad no, no es de servir cosas, ¿ya? es de entregar documentación. Entonces, entregar los papeles. They serve, they had papers, el verbo serve, ID. They had papers served. And they had the lawyers the, to the company. They are, they, they are, Suing. What's the meaning of sue? To sue someone? They have Demand. paper. Yes. Demandar. Demandar. So it's written uh, like this. Teacher? To sue. Yes. Entonces, ¿cuál sería la diferencia en estructura de los, de los pasivos y los causativos? Yeah. El, a ver, del causativo en general y los pasivos en general, ¿o no? Sí. Ah, ya, o sea, ya. lo que vimos antes y lo que estamos viendo ahora. Ya, buena pregunta, de hecho, muy buena pregunta. Porque yo lo veo igual. O ya, sea, casi mira. igual. Sí, es casi igual, mira. Eh, empecemos por, la, por las similitudes. 
Vámonos para acá. Ya, yo tengo acá, voy a tener un pasivo, eh, de, algo de un programa de animales. Eh, several dogs were found dead today. Y aquí puede ser... Pero es como de la perspectiva de una persona, entonces. Sí, es como lo apuntas. A ver, aquí dice que en muchos perros fueron encontrados muertos, ¿ya? En este caso, en est estructuralmente, las oraciones en general, no las causativas, pues las oraciones causativas son como oraciones B. Las oraciones normales son oraciones A. En el, el tema de las oraciones A... Eh, el, el pasivo se forma siempre por un verbo to be en cualquier tiempo y más un verbo en pipí. Es, así funciona. Siempre ocurre así. Dijimos también hace algunas clases que este verbo to be de forma informal también puede ser cambiado por un get. Así como get killed o got robbed. I got mugged. ¿ya? Y esto es cuando eh, el objeto, los perros, fueron encontrados por alguien, ¿ya? Que no sabemos. En cambio, esto es oraciones pasivas en general, ¿ya? Cuando transformamos cualquier acción a pasiva, queda el objeto siendo muy importante. En las oraciones causativas, por regla, tanto activas o pasivas, es una acción que alguien está haciendo por nosotros, o alguien la está causando hacia nosotros, o nosotros estamos haciendo que alguien la haga. Ya siempre hay alguien más metido haciendo esto. Entonces, esta, estructuralmente están formados por lo siguiente. Empieza con un sujeto, a diferencia que es con un objeto en las anteriores. ¿ya? Entonces ahí hay un, una diferencia. Empieza con un sujeto, luego tienes dos verbos, puede ser have o get, y luego tienes tu objeto recién. Entonces tú tienes que, a tu objeto, algo le hicieron. Algo le, le hicieron otras personas. En este caso, lo rescataron. Eh, en tema de orden, tenemos en las oraciones normales, siempre va el objeto primero. Y acompañado por algo que ha sucedido. Y en el tema causativo, tenemos que alguien hizo algo por el objeto. Eh, no sé si puedes pillar la diferencia, Tamara Colado, estructuralmente. Sí, sí lo vi. Sí, ya, va acá. Entonces. Puso causitive eso. Sí, tienes razón. Ahí está. Y el objeto va acá, después del, siempre del verbo. En cambio, en lo otro va siempre primero. Eh, la oración es causativa, sí ocurre, sí la nombramos mucho, pero no así como la con las oraciones pasivas en general. Por eso después cuando conversamos dijimos que, no sé si fue con ustedes, que lo que más me importaba en su diálogo era que estuviesen las oraciones pasivas. Estas van a salir sí o sí a, la, a medida que ustedes crían los diálogos. Y yo corregí hartos y pude notar que estaban y algunos necesitaban algún maquillaje y estas oraciones no son tan comunes, pero es bueno conocerlas como ocurren y por qué se llaman causativas de conocimiento general. Pero, ¿Por qué se llaman causativa? Porque alguien más la está causando por ti. ¿Ya? Ah, ya. ¿Ya? En este caso es que hicimos que rescataran perros. Pero si yo hiciera una oración así inventada, ¿podría ponerle cualquier persona adelante? Así como she had o... Sí, aquí es cualquiera. They had, ¿no? Aquí they had, she had, cualquier cosa. Sí, cualquier cosa. Entonces eso no importa mucho. No, no importa quién, quién lo mandó a hacer, no importa. Eh, pero esto digamos que son, esto es mucho detalle, ¿ya? Y yo siento que tampoco es tan relevante. Sí es bueno tenerlo en cuenta, saber por qué ocurre, pero no es como algo que nos no despierte en la noche, para Solo que existen pasivos y oraciones activas 
Y es que a su vez, en el lado B o en un universo paralelo, hay también acciones causativas que alguien más las hace por nosotros. Eso es como lo, lo principal. Yeah. Yeah. A ver. Ok, let's continue, people. So today's class is about hunting. Okay, I left you a video, actually, uh, it was Monday. And then the video I left you was about today's class. What we're going to do now is I'm going to close this up. And I have some questions for you. And the video is here. We're going to leave it ready. Um, no, don't reproduce now. Okay. Well, that's about, that was about the homework, people. Okay, so if you still haven't finished it, you may finish it, send it during the weekend. Uh, if you can't, no worries, it's just a homework to make you feel, I mean, to make you practice. But uh, the dialogues should be ready by now. I sent some yesterday, checked, and I think Mr. Lucas and Ms. Mor Ms. Uh, Francisca, uh, I'm checking Francisca, so it will be ready today, Francisca. Mardones. Okay, so I had got some questions connected to hunting, and today's topic, as we mentioned, is trophy hunting. It's a different kind of hunting. So let's get into context. Why do you think, this open question, why do you think people, some people like hunting? What do people do it? They say, I love hunting. Let's go hunting. The adrenaline. Okay. In the moment. Yeah, because of the adrenaline, uh, adrenaline, at the moment, uh, also the adrenaline, they call it the thrill, the thrill of the moment. I'm really sure I misspelled adrenaline, adrenaline, I think it's misspelled, adrenaline, adrenaline, it was without the... Okay. At the moment, anything else? Why people say, "Okay, let's go, let's go hunting." Some people like to practice his shooting, his accuracy. Is uh, some people practice it uh, like a sport, like a shooting sport, maybe? Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's the reason. Yeah, shooting, yeah, some people have guns, yeah, and they use it because they can't kill people. That okay, let's go for some animals. Okay, makes sense. Anything else? Some people feel powerful. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Uh, Matuta, I haven't hear you. What, what's going on? Any other idea? Some people only for eat uh, the, the animal. Yeah, 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 yeah. Some people do it for survival. Like eating the animal. Yeah, yeah. Some people hunt because they need to eat. Yes, yes, good. Now we have different reasons and I like them all. Uh, what do you think, that, which animals are the most wanted? Like, they have like a top list of animals that sh you should hunt once in your life. Birds. Okay, birds. Okay. What else? Rabbits. O sea, Rabbits. no, liebres. No sé cómo se dice liebre. Uh, oh, um, I forgot the name. Uh, what was it? Um, dang, uh, it's not. Hair? Hair, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, like that, yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, good, 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 good. Awesome. That's a vocabulary. Crocodiles. <laughs> Crocodiles. Thank you, DJ. Uh, what else? Elephants. Elephants. Yeah, unlikely. Elephants. Elks. Elks? Do you say elk? Yes. Yes. Like that? Mm -hmm. Whoa, yeah, that's a good vocabulary word. Thank you. Yeah, elks. Uh, I think they're majestic. Like the Canadian elk? 
Yeah, 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 majestic animals, yeah. Canadian elk and these are big, man. Look at look at the they had people. No, they don't have people, Mr. DJ. Anything else? They call the attention of hunters. Deer? Deer, yeah, yeah, probably, yeah. They're different kind of deer with different horns. Whales? Whales. That's interesting. Especially Japanese people. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whales. Okay, let's leave it big like bears. Big birds. Bears. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Bears. Yeah, true. Like in the movie, like in the movie, uh, The Revenant. Did you see that yeah, movie? Yeah, um, um, tigers too. Like Tiger. alfombra, carpet, too, or uh, we have rugs. Rugs, rugs. Sorry, rugs. Right. Carpet is the whole floor. Tiger rocks. <laughs> like that. <laughs> yes, like. I like this one. Too. I like this one. I don't like that one. Yeah, yeah. Carpet is different. Carpet is this. Look at that, Martin. Well. <laughs> Well, this is this is carpet, okay? Kind of this is carpet, like uh, the the complete floor, okay? Mm, okay. And the rug is something like this, but they put it like that because it's I don't know. Okay, so we have some idea. Uh, would you would you ever become a a hunter? No. Why yeah. not? Why? Yes. Would, uh, we have I to be like killing animals. No, don't like killing. Killing animals or killing in general? <laughs> in general. I okay, get okay, killing. I don't like killing. Yes. Uh, Valoria? Mm, the same. <laughs> Well, it. No. They have feelings. <clears throat> yes, I, I feel like they don't do anything to us. And they're just living in this world um, with us. And why we have to, or we want to kill them. Yes, great. Martin, you said yes. Thank you, Valoria. Good. Complimenting Ms. Palau. Martin, you said yes. What would you become a hunter? Um, yes, um, because I, I like the guns. And I remember when my uncles uh, tell me uh, stories and I love them because it uh, sounds like very fun um that but like for um a few times i think if i do because only for experiment that uh, yeah. activity yes Yes. Well, ooh, yeah, I think if you say yes, we have to experiment, but uh, man, it's, it would be terrible. Uh, there are two movies uh, that I would recommend. Uh, probably you watch them, you're people who have internet. Uh, Into the Wild. Have you watched the film? I think you have. Into the Wild, this is a movie. Well, this is a Spanish version, you know. Well, this is a movie, Into the Wild. Super recommend it if you like adventure, philosophy, and animals. Okay, Into the Wild, that's one that I would recommend you this week. And the other one is The Revenant. The Revenant, yeah. The Revenant, Leonardo DiCaprio got finally his Oscar for the East uh, performance in this movie. Really good movie. Um, it's very long though. And it's based or in inspired in true events. 
So those two movies, have a look. If you like them, that would be nice. Okay, so. Um, teacher? Yes. Other reason could be that I tried that because yeah. I like to, I would like, like, go to a uh, nature alone with nothing and uh, and survive hunt for survive yes uh, right. yeah yeah that that's yeah yeah, yeah. so I'd you like need to... you need do that for survive yeah in the wild yes but, um obviously you need to learn first and mm -hmm. for that uh, it's the first reason yeah that's a, that yeah that's an understandable reason to be honest like if you want to learn how to survive in nature all right good one yeah i didn't you don't have a jam yet jam google jams yeah people i prepared uh Bueno, la gente que le gusta hacer presentaciones y cosas, le recomiendo una aplicación web que se llama Genially. Genially es para hacer presentaciones y más. Es muy bueno, es muy artístico a las personas que le gusta hacer cosas artísticas. Yo lo estaba usando desde la semana pasada. Bueno, se puede hacer guías, infografías, personal, social net, media video presentations, images, whatever you want. And today's is about trophy hunting. So trophy hunting is a very good topic and probably you will see some of the reasons why they do it. First of all, people who practice trophy hunting know the definition and it's a sport according to them. Okay, it's a hunting wild game. Game in this, Case the vocabulary in this context refers to animals to be hunt. Okay, that is a game. Uh, we have bird game, we have bear game, we have uh, feline game, uh, big game. Okay, so game is animals to be hunted. For humans recreation, trophy hunting is or well, the trophy is a is the animal or part of the animal kept. So you can keep an part of the animal, the head of the skin okay the tusks the fangs and usually displayed to represent success of a hunt the game sought is typically large of impressive ornamented male usually males uh, such as one having horns or antlers or generally parts of the animal are kept as trophies okay the head the horns skins as i mentioned all the antlers antlers on esta tipo de cuernos como los de los de elks que les mencionaba eh, y lo otro todo lo otro es eh, de comida ya de carcas de carcas es todo lo que resta de comida ya órganos cosas así uh, the motivations of hunters is uh, some of the motivations are the glamour behind killing animals like you mentioned the feeling powerful feeling uh, the prowess la proeza prowess of the dominance over nature also some hunters are motivated by competitions and these are sponsored or patrocinadas by trophy hunting organizations some of the world largest organizations uh, in the u.s is Space safari club international and they have 50,000 members okay and they give awards in dozen categories Hay categorías de caza, por ejemplo, tal, el Big Five, Africa Big Five, which a hunter must kill an African lion, an African elephant, an African leopard, and an African rhino, and African buffalo. Entonces tienen categorías muy extrañas, ¿no? In this case, all the competitions that they have is the bears of the world, in which hunters must kill four of the 11 types of bear. Cats in the world, have to kill four of the seven types of cats. Inner Circle Awards recognize various hunting achievements such as killing animals with a handgun, killing animals with each on each continent, on getting the most entries on the SEL book record to win the highest award known as the World Hunter of the Year 
and the hunter must kill more than 300 animals across the world. Wow, okay. So that this is not only hunting for survival. This is a game. It's like capturing Pokemon. Here we can see some of the big five, right? Uh, this is imported animals, but this is our statistics between 205 and 2014. Uh, there were 32,453 imported animals between the US. Solo lo que entraron Estados Unidos. Yeah, we have buffaloes, we have uh, African lions, African elephants, African leopards, and southern uh, white rhinos. Let's see that how much, because to practice this sport, you need a lot of money. It's not an, it's not a sport for everyone. If you want to go for the big five, the big five, son estos de Africa, to hunt a lion, for example, you will need between thirteen thousand and forty-nine thousand dollars. Okay, estamos hablando de entre doce millones a treinta y cinco millones. No, no, menos de cuarenta y cinco millones más o menos. In the case of the elephant. Wow, it should be between eleven and seventy thousand dollars. Okay, and that varies according to the uh, type of elephant. Okay, um, it variates between the weight of. Si quieren cazar un animal, tiene que pagar por eso, ¿o no? Eso. Así es. Si quieren pagar, tienen que. O son los costos como asociados, o tienen que pagar. Para matar el animal. Tienen que pagar para matar el animal. Eso es lo primero. Y lo otro, están incluidos costos asociados como, acá dice, accommodation, dónde te vas a hospedar. Generalmente no vas solo, vas con, con un grupo local de gente ahí que te ayuda. Entonces es como el costo estimado, ¿ya? Qué horrible. De hecho, tú, esto, hay un documental, que tú eliges tu animal eh, tú, desde tu casa. O sea, tú lo buscas en este club. Ya decir, ya, eh, León Bobby, ya. Eh, tiene tantos años, eh, está en tal lado, eh, ya, pero no me tinca, eh, es muy joven. Voy a buscar, tengo más plata. Y busco, no sé, por el León Robert, ya. Tiene hartos años, una melena gigante. Ya, te cuesta así mucha plata, voy por ese. Clic, lo resalto. ¿Qué pasa y... si no lo logro lo, lo matar? Oh. No sé, por perder plata o insiste. Yo creo que ellos insistirían en buscarlo y en poder matarlo. O sea, es como un tema de dominancia, ¿no? Yo creo que hay dos posibilidades. Pues, se te escapa y ya no voy a ir a matarlo. Y, o te matan a tipo. ¿Por qué es pasa? igual en la cantidad de armas que llevan y en que el animal está totalmente indefenso. Mm, sí, yo creo difícil. que logran matarlos. Sí, es difícil. Es Ahora, difícil. hay algo Esto que... No es un deporte. No, pues no es un deporte. Porque no está en las mismas condiciones. Pues. Supuestamente los deportes están en iguales condiciones. Pues. De hecho, justo estaba viendo que en un lugar de la India le dieron una piña con explosivo a una elefanta que estaba embarazada. Y... No sé, lo encuentro horrible cómo alguien puede disfrutar de ver a otro ser vivo sufrir de esa manera. No, 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 it's just... Well, some people are doing good things. Uh, for example, uh, hay estos tipos que cazan, los que de trophy hunting, se llaman poachers. Hay personas que cazan poachers o que eh, los lo espantan. Entonces hay cazadores que cazan a estos mismos cazadores. Uh, no sé si los matarán, pero al menos los capturan o, o hacen algo al respecto. Y también hay videos en internet, mientras armaba todo esto, pues aprendía más de esto. Hay videos bacanes donde los animales, como decía la Miss Colau, no los no lo pueden capturar y los animales igual se vengan. Pues, entonces igual hay videos donde sale todo mal. Pues. Y los animales se vengan. Eh, well, African Leopard, 25,000. So we talking about... 24 million pesos. Rhino, this is very expensive, 55 to 150. So we have more than 100 million pesos. African buffalo, 
and then we have 15 to 18 it's not that much but it's still it's very it's a lot of money it's not easy okay i would i would spend the money going to disneyland or other places not killing animals so ¿Qué pasa si van y matan a algún animal y sin pagar? O sea, no, solo van y lo matan. No, creo que no pueden, creo que no pueden. Eh, porque Pero esta, eso no, después, en ese cuando, lugar. cuando vean un poco más, generalmente los animales no están así como en terreno de nadie, pues son reservas o hay como gente que compró mucho terreno y tiene animales y... Eh, como los deja, ¿sí? tiene, los tiene contados y, y los pone así como en un catálogo de los cuales se pueden casar, ¿cachai? Y con Esa eso... Esa persona es peor que la que los mata. Ah, totalmente de acuerdo, totalmente de acuerdo. Y, y con esa plata, bueno, ellos dicen que ayudan a las aldeas locales y que también, eh, no sé, po, eh, apoyan la economía del país, cosas así. Pero la verdad no sé. To stop, to stop finishing, we're going to watch the video and comment it, and then you go and you have your lunch. And I'm going to put volume down, because it will be a bit loud. Here we're going to see two people, two hunters, and their reasons. Okay, let's have a quick look, and then we off to go. Teacher, yo por lo menos no escucho. ¿Ah? No escucho. ¿No se escucha? Ya, yeah, me dio no face. Pero... Espera, espera, espera. Ah, ya sé por qué, por si no está compartiendo. Ya, yeah. ¿can you see now? I mean. Now to a story that's sparking fears. Yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah. Outrage <laughs> at home. Most kids love animals, but this young girl says she also loves hunting them. She's just 12 years old and she's already traveling to exotic safaris in pursuit of trophy kills. Now, after posing with her prey on social media, she's defending herself after igniting a fury of internet anger in the latest battle over big game hunting. At just 12 years old, Ariana Gordine is already a sharpshooter a lethal big game hunter, both at home and abroad. But the Utah native came under fire after posting these images on her Facebook page, Braids and Bows. Here she is smiling next to the animal she killed while on safari with her dad in Africa last week. It's something that I cherish and I enjoy and I want other people to see what I've been able to experience. In this post with the zebra, Ariana writes, one of my dream hunts for sure. The hunt was legal, but online, outrageous. Age. This post with a dead giraffe racking up over 73,500 comments so far. Some calling Ariana sick and an animal hater or even threatening the 12 year old's life. They love animals, but I mean, we love animals too. It's just. We also love hunting. The father-daughter duo does have some supporters online, posting comments like, let the haters hate. Hunt away, Ariana. I started hunting because it's something my family has done for generations, and my dad got me into it when I was little. We're proud to be hunters, and we'll never apologize for being a hunter. Or for felling that giraffe. She had mentioned she'd seen a few of the other celebrity hunters that had shot a giraffe, and she thought, you know, that might be fun. And Ariana his dad, Eli, says their guides actually offered this particular giraffe to hunt. They actually had a older bull giraffe on the property that was creating problems for the other giraffes. He was harming the young giraffes. And so he said, this one we could probably hunt if you were interested. In. But not everyone agrees with this justification. We hear that a lot, that in this modern day and age, we have to proactively and excessively manage wildlife. I don't buy it. This isn't the first time social media has created a firestorm over big game kills for sport. Just this past week, this graphic video obtained by the New York Post showing hunter Josh Bomer hurling a spear and killing a bear. Online, people calling his kill despicable. 
Bowmore doubled down in an interview with the Daily Mirror, stating, You all should be ashamed of yourselves for trying to kill a heritage that has existed for over a million years. Literally since the dawn of man, the spear has been a vital role in survival. But perhaps the biggest public uproar came after Minnesota dentist Walter Palmer killed a beloved lion in Zimbabwe last year. <laughs> Cecil the lion was the star attraction of Ngawe National Park. To me, it was one of the most magnificent lions I've seen. Dr. Palmer hired local guides, paying more than $50,000 for a hunting license. But authorities at the time said Palmer and his guides illegally lured Cecil, first injuring him, eventually killing him, taking the head of the pride as their trophy. While a lawyer for the guide insisted nobody knew the slain lion was Cecil. Mr. Palmer didn't know he was shooting this, this famous lion. The public wasn't convinced. One Twitter user even wrote, think it's safe to say that dentist Walter Palmer of lion killing fame is the most hated man in the world right now. Good stuff. Palmer released a statement then saying, I had no idea the lion I took was a known local favorite, adding that he relied on the expertise of my local professional guides to ensure my legal hunt. I deeply regret that my pursuit of an activity I love and practice responsibly and legally resulted in the taking of this lion. He was never charged for the death of the lion and has no further comment. But big game hunts are still enormously popular. Even the Trump brothers are fans of the sport seen here with their so-called trophies. According to the Humane Society International, over the last decade, American hunters have imported more than 1.2 million animals as trophies. That's more than 126,000 a year. But for many, shooting to kill is not just sport. Hunters like Eva Shockey believe that what you hunt, you should eat. My ABC colleague Neil Karlinski first met Shockey last year. They don't understand that we eat all that meat. I mean, what are they eating at their dinner table? Do they have meat on their plate? Do they go to Whole Foods and buy a $20 steak? Do they know where that steak came from? Shockey got a taste of that online rage herself after posing with a 510-pound bear she'd just killed in North Carolina. Threats poured in on Facebook. She says she had 5,000 death threats in one day. I think when they attack me, that's just a form of fear, basically. They are used to a hunter with a beer with a chew in his lip and drinking beer and that's not what I represent. Like Ariana, Eva was exposed to hunting with her dad when she was very young. Here she is at seven. How long have you been doing this, shooting arrows? Like this? Um, seriously, for probably five, six years now. But she didn't start hunting herself until she was 20 and never actually killed an animal until this emotional moment captured on video. Smoked him. Did I miss him? No, you hit him. You hit him. That's exactly what will happen. You aim three inches underneath his tusk? I'm about to cry. <laughs> Don't cry. <laughs> Evie, did you aim three inches underneath his tusk? And was it solid? I think so. Yeah, it was good. You hit him solid. You could hear it. It went, went like this. It went whoop. It was emotional. It was emotional, yeah. I was excited, I was nervous, I was worried. Was any of it feeling the impact of taking a life? As a hunter, if you don't feel remorse, like if you don't feel reverence for that animal that just gave you a life, then I think you should maybe rethink it because that, we don't think this animal, like, you know, that's an animal, that's a living animal, and it's now become food for people. Eva and Ariana are part of a growing trend. The number of female hunters grew nearly five times as fast as male hunters between 2006 and 2011. I want other women and youth to get into the hunting experiences because it's just, it's funner than you could imagine, and it's great, it's just awesome. Ariana Gordine says that legal hunting is actually good for the wildlife and the local communities. They say the giraffe meat was donated to the local village and will feed 800 orphans over the next month. They don't understand the conservation aspect of it. You know, there's it's a multi-billion dollar industry. It creates millions of jobs across the world, but boosts the economy hugely. But not necessarily. According to a recent report, only 3% of the $200 million in revenue from Africa's big game hunting trickles down to the local economy. Study after study has shown that minuscule amounts actually go back to the people on the ground in the communities that have to live beside wildlife. And animal advocates argue it does little for animal conservation. 
2016. We no longer have to kill endangered species to save them. Despite the backlash, Ariana says she will still keep hunting. I would never back down from hunting because I'm a hunter and no matter what the people say to me, I'm never going to stop. ¿Qué siente cuando, cuando lo escucharon? Me da rabia. <ríe> Ay, no, no sé, es que no, no, no entiendo la motivación, sé que es divertido. No. Es que dicen que es como su vida, pero están tomando otra vida, entonces es como una decisión que ellos no pueden tomar. Yeah. Oh, pero no. siento que la culpa no es de la, la niña porque es joven sino que la familia lo hacía desde antes, entonces como una enfermedad también. Sí, porque que lo haya hecho su familia por generaciones no, no quiere decir que esté bien, po, ¿no? Exacto. Además, uh -huh. eh, como que el papá se lo inculcó demasiado y ella sintió que era parte de lo que necesitaba, entonces... Claro. Es como comprarle cosas a los niños chicos... Para que desarrollen ciertos hobbies que tú quieres que desarrollen, pues. Sí. Tu, tu primer arco, tu primer rifle, en chiquititas. Yeah, let's finish because you have to go and have lunch. Uh, why did Anna Gording uh, became a social target? A girl of 12 years old. Just orally. Why did she become a target on the internet? On Facebook, actually. For the photos? Did. For the photos. For the photos she uploaded, like with her giraffe and stuff. So she uploaded. Um, why does she hunt? She said. Because it's funny. Yeah, they say more than funny is fun. They say it's fun, right? It's a funny. It's a fun experience because funny is like you. Kill the animal and then it's ha ha ha. Then you get stupid animal, but it's fun. It's like but it that gives... was her face, like ha ha ha. Yeah, one of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. I can't deny that. That's true. Um, when they killed the giraffe, was it legal? I think yes. Yeah, it was legal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And why uh, do they allow them to kill the giraffe? Well, they say, yeah, yeah, kill the giraffe. Mm, because it uh, was. Uh, I don't know how to say it, but it was generating problems with the other giraffes. Yeah, the giraffe was causing problems. Yeah, that, yeah, the giraffe was causing problems. Yeah, yeah, good, good, good. And uh, Cecil, who's Cecil? Or who was Cecil? Tamara Colab. Who was Cecil? Cecil. Cecil. No, Tamara Colab is not here. No, sé, no me acuerdo. Uh -huh. mm. No sé quién dijo la no Montserrat, no sé. What about the others? Mr. Parra, Mr. Fernando, who is Cecil? I have Valoria, I have Miss Tamara, Mr. Torres. Oh, Edward, who is Cecil? Um, right. Mm -hmm. A very famous lion. A very, very famous lion. Oh, thank you, thank yeah, you. Someone, right? Yeah, someone killed him. Yes, DJ. Thank you, DJ. Thank you, DJ. Okay, so we're not going to continue with this because it will be too long. and. We spend some time checking the homework. All right, people. So um, your dialogues should be finished today. Checked. Okay. And uh, the next step was to start making the video. So, ¿le pusimos fecha eso? No. Todavía no. No, pero, o sea, yo había hablado con el curso. Ah, yeah, eh, yeah, okay. Que me había dicho que nos podía dar una semana más que el C y dijeron que sí. Claro, ustedes pongan la, la fecha más o menos. Ahí tú me comentas, Valeria, y, y la pongo ahí en el clase. Dígame. Yeah. Ah, sí, la Valeria había dicho eso de una semana más que, que el C y creo que casi todos estábamos de acuerdo. 
Claro, porque el C y el, y el otro curso lo van a entregar como... O sea, yo sé el C nomás, el 16 más o menos, ¿ya? Entonces, claro, ustedes están hablando de la casi la última semana de, de junio. Sí. Igual si tienen problemas me avisan y, y a largo plazo ustedes me avisan, ¿ya? No hay problema. Ok. Ya. Okay, yeah. Ya, yeah. yeah, ok, people. No homework. I'll see you around. Enjoy your lunch. I'm sorry for elongating the class. Okay. Okay. See you guys. Stay safe. See Don't you. hunt Thank animals. It's not good. Bye bye. <laughs> okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye, Martin. Bye, Edward.